Okay, to design this trident, I started the new project, and he wanted this thing to be fairly large, um, much bigger than like the the cheap plastic ones he was seeing at the Halloween store. So uh, I figured we make it probably at least ten inches tall, eight inches wide, somewhere around that that size. I'm gonna set my board a little bit oversized, about fourteen by eleven. And then uh, we want this thing to be substantial enough that it can be, uh, you know, take some abuse and and also look proportionally right. So I'm going to glue together two three-quarter inch boards and carve this at an inch and a half thick. And I'm going to do a two-sided carve. So I'm going to carve from both sides on this. So here's our board dimensions. Boards in 3D. So the first thing we should do is go to layout and let's use the grid. So we're going to view the grid and center the grid and uh, we will set the interval to a quarter inch and then of course we want to snap to that grid. So the grid shows up here on the board. We turn that wood grain off so it's easier to see. There we go. So this it's pretty simple. The pictures he showed me were kind of a much more angular than rather the traditional kind of curved trident. So we can quickly draw out the general shape of what he was showing me just by snapping to the grid and then, you know, correlating the lines here create a symmetrical design. You know, and I might have to make adjustments on this. I might not do it perfectly the first time. But adjustments can always be made. I can probably get it pretty close. I think there will be some adjustments. And then we go close the shape. So then our, that's our general shape of the trident. We can rotate this sideways to see how awkwardly off we are. I can see this side is not the same. This point. You can kind of look at these uh, the length of your lines here too to to make sure that you're in the right spot so the, these numbers should match up so I think we are there all the numbers on both sides are saying the same things alright not too bad and then we need to add some barbs to this can be much of a trident without barbs on it. I'm just doing the same thing I did before. Just drawing. Now on these, um, I'm not going to be able to exactly snap to the grid, so I'm going to turn that snap off. I've got a toggle here, or you can also go back to the layout tool and turn it off there. So here, I can just kind of follow along this line and set my barb. I want it to be proportional to this one. So maybe we'll shorten that up a bit. That looks pretty good. Now this one I can just mirror and I'll be mirroring vertically vertically because I'm actually designing this way. So now I can take all of these, they're all closed shapes, and with my 3D pattern pattern modeling tools, I can just go and put a bevel. So I'm cutting this 
on two sides on one and a half inch so if I want to meet in the middle I should make these uh, at three quarter inch deep at 0.75 but I want to actually add a little bit of a lip in between just to add extra strength since he's going to be using this as a costume prop it doesn't need to be sharp edged it needs to just look great and also not break so we're going to put it at 0.70 that'll give it a little bit of extra meat in as it meets in the middle as you can see there very quickly created a nice beveled trident so let's turn this grid back off let's go back under layout get the grid out of the way so we can see what we're doing a little bit better uh, I can already see I'm going to need to adjust some of these these heights so we'll take everything here and adjust it down let's start at point or at 70 on the height that's less aggressive definitely on the main part of it these parts are still a little too tall so let's move those ones down to 50 and look at it that's oh, a little bit better they're not standing up too much okay so we need to be able to attach this to some kind of pole uh, a piece of PVC pipe or I've actually got a, a piece of metal conduit that I'm going to use on this and the inner diameter of that pipe is three quarter inch so I can actually go here and adjust on my rectangle and type in that dimension I can also type it up here if you want to make those adjustments you can type them in and I'll center it Go ahead and pull this into that a little bit so we need to make this a round peg that basically sticks out of the bottom of this that I can stick on the end of a pole so I'm going to use the extrude tool and make this round so it's showing the red and green um, which will show whatever I extrude, whatever shape is going to go this way. We actually want it to go this way. So I'll click on the horizontal. Now I know I can get the design, which is just going to be an arc, to go this way. So let's use my arch tool up there under my circles. And right there at the middle of the board, draw that. I can use this, which will actually fit it all the way to the edges, right and left and then I can attach this to the top of the board and make sure it's exactly at at 0.75 I could also attach it to the center and set it at 0 or attach it to the bottom at point or yeah 0.75 but this will work I got a position hit OK alright so there's my peg quick and easy. Alright, so the god of the sea should have some kind of element that represents the sea on it. So let's go just to my basic library. Basic library. I can find some shells. Let's just use this one. Set the angle to 90. Rotate that and then I'll just position it on here right click center it so I know it's centered with the rest of it and then let's look and see yeah it's sitting way too high up on this design so let's adjust that depth set it down let's see what a quarter inch looks like probably yeah way too high still 0.3 well 0.4. 0 0.4 is not bad. Getting a little bit of a peak in there. So maybe 
that looks good not sitting too high and blending in with the design fairly well okay there's our trident that just took a few minutes to design so let's make this ready for carve I'm going to grab all of these elements put them in a group select the group and click my make pattern button alright so I can put this under my favorites folder call it trident maybe we'll call this trident 2 so now I'm going to select all of this stuff all my working files here and I'm going to hide them put them keep them in that group so if I ever need to make adjustments to this design I can go get those files but it'll be easy for easier for positioning it'll be easier for positioning if I just use the pattern that I made so I can put that on the board and then I can center it on both make sure the depth is at point seven and then do the same thing on the back side center it both set the depth to point seven and now they should should be able to carve out on both sides so these aren't quite intersecting because I'm only carving a point seven so I need to carve around them to free it from the board so I'll start on the front side of the board and select outline pattern and then in my vector drawing suite I have a tool called path offset that allows me to take an outline and then create another outline a set distance away from from that line so either inside or outside so I'll set an eighth of an inch spacing out click OK and now I can make this a carved region point eight so that it actually goes a little bit past the center point of the mar the board and then let's do that to the same same thing to the back side outline path offset one eighth of an inch carve region at point eight all right, so now we can see that it's actually carving through both sides of the board. So this trident will then become free of the board. So the problem if we with this is uh, it, it can come actually free while it's carving if we don't put some tabs in there. So let's use the line segment tool and add some tabs some tab markers here these will be where the tabs will appear I like to be better safe than sorry on tabs so uh, it's it's just more sanding to clean them up but that's a lot less work than redoing the whole project because it didn't hold in place so this should be sufficient a number of tabs I'm gonna click my make or place tabs button and then I always use the flat tabs it's just my preference I always make them wider than the, than the default 1 8 and height is fine now this since I'm carving from both sides I want these tabs to be in the middle of the board not at the bottom at one and a half so I'm going to set it to three quarter inch that'll put the tabs right there at the center point of this piece click OK now my tabs are in place the last thing to do which I recommend on on any carving that you do is to do optimization so let's select the trident pattern here and go to my bit optimization and let's set that to best this allows for compensation of the 
taper of the bit so I don't over carve anything and make anything too small. Let's hit reverse. Do the same thing here. Bit optimization best. And now it's ready to carve. Alright, let's upload this and carve it.